never said this on camera this is so weird <laughs> Love me some wine some prosecco like hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel today I'm just gonna be doing a little Q&A. It's a Friday evening. I'm about to head to spin. Well, I guess it's like Friday afternoon right now I've got some time. I felt like talking um, So I posted on my Instagram story and I asked you guys to submit questions just You know about life because um, I like to check in with you guys every now and then and answer questions um, so yeah, we've got a lot of responses. I'm gonna try and get through as many as possible if you guys wanna be involved in my next Q&A. Um, just follow me on Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn. Also, I'm wearing our Gals on the Go merch. This is the Don't Text Sweatshirt. Super comfortable. Spray some energizing mist all over. Wow, it changes, changes the game. All right, so this is just gonna be super chill, super casual. I just wanted to talk and answer questions and I don't know, let's just have time. <laughs> What advice would you give your younger self? I would tell my younger self that to not stress so much about the future and that there really is a plan and if you just continue to do the things that you love, you will get rewarded and good things will happen because I eventually realized that and eventually realized that self-love was like the most important thing but for a while I thought I couldn't be completely myself because I wouldn't like get far in life but that's so false, like here we are. How to know if a boy is playing you in college or not? <laughs> I don't know fam. I'm like the worst at like judging stuff like that. I mean, there's like obvious signs I feel like I saw this thing on Twitter. It was like if there's three red flags like, you know You can give a boy three red flags and if like he hits the third one like just you know I think the biggest thing is just to like be you and like just do you and if like they keep pursuing you They keep wanting to hang out with you like if they want to hang out with you on nights that they're not going out, it's a big sign that they actually like you. Are you still planning on moving to New York City once you are done with college? Okay, this is like crazy because I like don't know. I used to say like, oh, I'm moving to New York right after I graduate, which is like still like where I'm leaning towards. I don't know, after seeing like Brooke go through the process, if you guys don't know Brooke, Brooke Michio, she's one of my best friends, we have the podcast together. And she thought, she's like two years older than me and she went to UGA too and she was like, when I graduate, I'm moving to New York City, getting a job there, boom, done. And she ended up moving to Boston and like loves it there. So I'm like, I say I'm moving to New York City, but I don't really, really know if that's actually what's going to happen, if that's what's meant to be. I could see myself in Atlanta, I could see myself in Dallas. Um, I really love Charlotte, North Carolina for some reason. Not that there would really be anything with my major there. Boston's cool. I don't know, maybe I gotta join Brooke there. No, I'm kidding. But like, I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know what um, is in, the st in store for me. I was like thinking about it the other day because I'm like kind of getting close to graduation. I'm a junior. So I don't know. I'm kind of like realizing that I need to have an open mind because I don't want to like let myself down or I don't know. Kind of following up on that, someone said, are you wanting to get a job after college or do YouTube podcast all that jazz full time? I was like having this conversation with my boyfriend last night. I was like, I don't know, like the more I do with my YouTube, my podcast, like we just had like a huge conference call yesterday um, with Podcast One about our podcast and like things that they wanna do in the next year or two with our show, like that is like a whole other ball game. And just again, seeing Brooke go through the process of like doing a normal job and then literally having to quit because she couldn't balance it all. It's hard because I do make like a living off of what I do now. Like I'm in school with a major to get a degree and I enjoy it and I love the idea of like having a job and being in a community. I just don't know what's like, what makes the most sense. Like I really don't. So I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm not sure yet, but I'm, I'm really down for either. Favorite drink to get at a bar? Well, I am 21, so I guess I can answer this. I love Moscow Mules, those are my go-tos, but I'm not really like a big liquor person. I like Moscow Mules, like vodka crayons. I love me some wine. I've never said this on camera, this is so weird. <laughs> love me some wine, some Prosecco, like that vibe. So many questions are asking how me and Ryan met. Um, basically, we were both out one night and I saw him from literally across the room and I was like, wow, like, he's so cute. But like, I didn't do anything about it because I was just like, no, I was having fun. I was like with a ton of my girlfriends, just like having fun. I didn't even want to go out that night. And then I ended up just having like so much genuine fun. I wasn't like thinking about boys or like, oh my God, who's here? Like I was literally just like having fun with my friends. And then he just came up to me and he was like, hey, what's your name? Simple as that. I know it's really personal, but can you explain your parents' relationship? No, that's a fair question. A lot of people get really confused. So. My parents are divorced. They got, well, they didn't get legally divorced. I think I was in like high school, but I believe they told us they were separating when I was in like fourth or fifth grade. Um, so it's actually been like a minute. Um, and my dad moved out shortly after and he got his own place. 
I am so thankful. My parents are literally still best friends. Like, I don't know how I got so lucky. Um, my mom has a boyfriend. My, I don't even know if you guys know this. My mom's boyfriend actually lives with us. He's lived with us since um, the end of my senior year of high school. Um, I don't really like put him in the vlogs and stuff. Like, he doesn't, but he, I love him. He's great. Um, he was a chef in New York and he moved down in Florida and like met my mom, but um, he's so cool and so great and great to my mom. And he and my dad are friends. They hang out on their own too. <laughs> I know my family's so weird. Um, but yeah, they basically just kind of, I don't, I don't know. They're, they've been able to remain really, really good friends. We've done family vacations together, me, my mom, my dad, and my brother. And I'm like so thankful that they've worked so hard to maintain that relationship. That's, I don't know if that explains things, but yeah, I'm really thankful. What sports have you played? That's a cool question. Um, So not many people know this about me, nor believe this about me. First through eighth grade, I was on the flag football team at my school, elementary school and middle school. In middle school, I was actually on an all boys flag football team. We were the Baltimore Ravens. It was like a league outside of school um, and I loved it. I wish I could still do flag football. I wish it was like a pro thing. I loved it. <laughs> but then I also played basketball and I did soccer for like a second, but like it was not for me. Um, but I danced my whole life. And then in high school, I didn't, or I did cheer freshman year and then I became a football manager instead because like, I don't know, I just prefer dancing over cheerleading. Um, so yeah, but I never did any like intense high school sports just because I did not have enough time Like that's honestly when YouTube started to pick up and I did high school theater I was the president of two clubs. I was a prefect, which is basically like people that dress good people. It's like a narc um, and Yeah, I didn't really do sports in high school, but I love them. I was the spirit club president instead So I like went to all the games I don't know. How do you juggle work, school, fitness while staying organized? I don't know. A lot of people ask me this. I am just a person like I like to be doing things at all times. Like I like I have time right now before spin and like probably take a nap, which is probably what I should do. But I wouldn't be able to fall asleep. I'd be like thinking about other things I can be doing. I just don't like to waste the day. And that's just like who I am as a person. And I think that really helps me get things done. I just have a lot of passions. And for me, I don't really want to sacrifice any of them. So I just make time for it. If I'm, you know, I go to spin, I come back, I get ready super fast so I can go hang out with my friends. It's just, that's just how it has to be. I have really had to learn to say no to things. Um, and it's not just saying no to like just do nothing. It's just, like saying no so I can do something else. And then the next time I kind of just balance it out. I'm like, okay, like last week I didn't hang out with my friends so I could film YouTube videos or whatever it may be. So this week I'm gonna do the opposite. I don't know, I just kind of like keep myself accountable. But like I said, I just really enjoy being busy and I like being a gal on the go and I like doing things. So it kind of just comes natural to me. Um, so yeah, I think you just make time for the things you love. How are you? <laughs> such a sweet question as in relationships with your friends family boyfriend and yourself my relationship with myself is pretty pretty good um every now and then i have to give myself a little pep talk sometimes i like really get down on myself then i have to remind myself like not in like a cocky confident way i just have to remind myself like of what i have built thus far and like i sometimes just get down on myself for no reason i compare myself to other people and i have to remember that i kind of have a very non-traditional lifestyle a different path and I have to remind myself of that sometimes, but like honestly, overall, I'm really, really happy with my life right now. I'm happy with like my body, my fitness, my health. I'm very, very happy in that aspect. I'm happy with my relationships. I have such good friends. I have such amazing family. I'm so thankful for my family. They're always there for me. I'm so thankful for my boyfriend. He's great. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Did you lose weight or toned your body? I feel like you look so much smaller. Okay, everyone is asking me, did you lose weight? Did you lose weight? Okay, like on the scale, I have not lost weight. Like, I haven't. I think I've just toned up. I never really had a goal of losing like weight because I wanted to like gain muscle weight. I like lost weight for a second and then I just started gaining it back in muscle because I've been spinning like four to six times a week. I love spin so much, like legit. I think that's why. I think spin just does a really good job of toning you. Spin tones your legs and then there's also an arm track. So you're doing like a lot of little arm movements and I think it's really helped to tone my arms. I've always kind of had like, like a smaller waist. It was just like my thighs and my legs that I needed to tone. You guys have all been really hyping me up lately in the vlogs and my Instagram. And I, I mean, I'm just like, honestly, I've never really had a goal. Like I want to lose weight. Um, like when you look up like my height and like how old I am and everything like I am the weight I should be but I did want to tone up and I just want to feel good and if that's spinning and feeling good and apparently I look better you know that's awesome would you ever become a spin instructor I get this question all the time how do you stay so freaking happy all the time I feel like you're never sad I literally 
I don't I don't know why I feel like I like I am a positive person like don't get me wrong But I feel like I'm not that positive all the time even my boyfriend's like Danielle You're always so happy and I'm like am I really though like I I really feel like like I I don't know Delaney sees it all like she knows like just before I was filming this Like honestly one of the reasons I filmed this video is to kind of get in a better mood That's why I vlog like it motivates me to like see the positive sides of life I feel like because I want to motivate you guys and it inspires me. It's not me being fake It's just I like as soon as I turn the camera on I'm like I'm not gonna sit here and complain because there's no freaking point to like every now and then it's okay to complain and like if you listen to our podcast I kind of like I'm really really real on that and I'll talk about you know things that happened that week that made me mad but no I get mad I get sad I get in funks I was in a funk like an hour ago and I literally was like Delaney I'm so pissed off right now and I don't know why like I was literally like she was like you make no sense I was like I don't know like and it was pissing me off because I was pissed off because I was like why am I so mad right now I just like I don't know. So I like listened. I have my girl boss playlist on Spotify. I made it like last year or the year before and it works great for when I'm just like, I need to like, just be like, yeah, like, it's just like, I'm going to love myself. No, I don't need anybody else. It's just like a good playlist. So I listen to that. But to answer your question, I do get upset a lot, but I'm not a pessimist. I'm definitely an optimist. So for me, like if I can find joy and happiness in like a bad situation, I'm going to just because like, what's the point of being mad? So I think that is good for now. I hope you guys enjoy this Q&A. I honestly so would like sit here more and answer more questions, but I've honestly gotta go, I gotta spin. I'm like addicted, but I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for tuning in. I love just kind of like catching up with you guys and kind of being like, hey, this is what's going on right now. Um, but I'm probably gonna do another one of these sooner than later just because I wanna like answer more questions. I just don't have time, but thanks for watching. I love you guys and have an amazing day.